Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Demert and I am the Lion Den Leader for PAC 490 here in Montrose. And I am here again with you all to focus on this week's virtual den meeting, the rationale for the animal kingdom requirement. Today we're going to be learning the importance of what to do in an emergency, to possibly meet with someone in our community, like a firefighter, a police officer, a veteran, an EMT, someone who works in our community that puts the needs of others, our safety, and our concern. The takeaway for this rationale is that the animal kingdom encompasses all animals, including the lion. And as a lion, you have a responsibility and a leadership to take care of those around you and for the whole group. And as a leader, you must in, can take into consideration of the needs of others and not just yourself. The importance of this requirement is to learn a little bit more about those things, both in the community, us as a lion, our responsibilities, how to help others, what to do in an emergency situation, and also thinking about others in the form of saving energy. Something like when you're brushing your teeth, instead of leaving the water on, you can turn it off, and when you're no longer in a room, to turn that light off. And that will be something you can consider with either your den leader or your family member and come up with ideas for something you can do at home to help out in your family and in their needs. It is important to note that for this requirement, you do need to reach out to someone in the community. Now, with everything regarding COVID and everything being virtual, Suggestions could be that maybe you could have a Zoom meeting with a local firefighter, a police officer, a veteran, an EMT, anything that is scheduled in the Den Leader Handbook and see if that's something that could be set up or you may need to specifically talk to members of your pack and come up with an idea of how you all can get together and to complete this requirement. For the fourth requirement for this, rationale, you will need to come up with a family service project that you and your Cub Scouts, den leaders, or parents, guardians um, can come up with so you can fulfill the requirement for this. And as always, we will begin with a game. For this one, you can do a game of Lion Tag or um, Simon Says, but instead you say Lion Says. But we will begin right now with the Pledge of Allegiance, our Scout Sign, and our Scout Oath and then we will begin today's meeting. And if there are any questions or things that you need to discuss, please pause now to take that time with your den leader and your members of your den and go over that. All right, for everyone in uniform, we all need to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and we all salute. And if we do not, we always put our hand over our heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now scouts, and now lions, let us recite the scout oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to obey the scout law, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight, and to help all other people at all times. Thank you all. Now, as for scouts, what is our scout motto? To always do our best. We're going to be discussing a little bit about ener energy saving and what that means to help out and to conserve and be aware of those around us. In the handbook, it discussed two options. One is for when you scouts, when we brush our teeth, should we leave the water on when we're brushing our teeth? <laughs> No, maybe we need to turn that off so we can conserve and save water. The same goes as if we're playing in a room or we're using a light for something and we leave that room, we should turn that light off. Another thing that would be great is in our house, we have recycle bins. And here in Montrose, we have to separate them out in different containers. One will be for your mixed recyclables, which are plastic containers with a triangle that goes from the number one through seven, and that all needs to be in a separate container. And then we have a container for all glass items. Another container we have is for all of our cardboard, and that we all have to make sure to break it down so it compacts a little bit easily. And lastly, any of our paper items, like phone books, 
um, envelopes like junk mail or any paper that we know that can be recycled, we separate that out here in our house and then we either have the recycling pick it up or sometimes we have to go and take it to the Montrose Recycling. But those are some ideas for this rationale and what you can take now to pause the video and discuss with your den and other scouts what are some great ways that we can save energy and help out around the house. All right, for requirement number one, if you have already reached out to a firefighter, a police officer, a veteran, an EMT, someone in your community, now is the time where you will have your guests come and talk about what they do to help prepare and to keep others safe. In addition to this exercise and to this requirement, please make note before having this den meeting that you may want to have all of the members of the Lion Den kids make a thank you note to give in advance. Now, if it is a virtual meeting, then you all can make a thank you note and possibly mail it, or that may be something that needs to be discussed among whoever the visitor is that you all are going to discuss with and then figure out what is the best option that is going to keep everyone safe, especially now surrounding with COVID and restrictions on how we keep ourselves safe and social distancing and, and things of that nature. All right, after your EMT or your firefighter or your police officer has visited with you all and any questions that you may have, please take this time to ask them now. Once that game is finished, our next one is going to be the emergency preparedness game. And it is located on page 35 in your den leader handbook. And it discusses different scenarios. There's a card that says there might be something to happen like a nosebleed. And on the back of the card, gives you what you need to be prepared for that. So one set of bandana or maybe a cloth to cover the nose or pinch the nose. Another one was if um, you, like a scratch or the skin begins to bleed, to have a band-aid. Another would be, um, like let's say something gets hit or swollen. On the other card it says to call 911 if somebody has a broken limb or you know, a broken arm or broken bone to get immediate help and then it shows you what you need to do for each of those scenarios. And you all can now take this time to pause, take those cards, and one card will be given to the lion, and then the other card will be given to the adult or to the den leader, and then you all can discuss among yourselves what are some things that you would need to help in that situation. All right, after you have played the emergency preparedness game, now is the time for you to take the cards and put them all aside and then to discuss what you all will be working on at home to help out ways to conserve and save energy. And finally, to discuss options for your service project within your community and what will work for you all for your restrictions, everything surrounding about social distancing, reaching out to members of your community to see what you can do for a service project. I know earlier this year for PAC 490, we were able to help out the church at St. Mary's and to get all the rocks that were in this really large fountain. And it was really hard for the groundskeeper and the gentleman who takes care of everything outside and all the maintenance needs of the church and the Cub Scouts all came and had bags of trash to clean up and then put the rocks back and to help out. So maybe there's something in your community that you could help out and with it being close to the holidays, for Thanksgiving, um, for Christmas, for Hanukkah, for celebrations, depending on your uh, religious beliefs, maybe reaching out to your community and seeing what you could do, your family, or even the den as a group can participate in and then get that fourth requirement for this rationale. And now that everything's done, now is the time to make sure that we clean up all of our scraps of paper to help pick up, to make sure that everything gets disinfected. If you are meeting all together, make sure that the thank you card is presented to your visitor. Or if, like everything else with Zoom, you may have had to mail it. But make sure that you bring those notes, have the scouts sign them. If there's any questions, help them write the address and then you can all send that thank you note to whoever your visitor was to help you with this rationale. Thank you all so very much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you again. As always for us scouts to always do our best and now let's recite the scout law. 
A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Thank you all.